Hello guys, um, I want to present you something. Um, I cracked the gravity puzzle uh, and I actually found a way to harvest gravity if you want to call it that way. It doesn't re really matter. It seems that uh, almost all of us use different terms to describe uh, very similar things and there is no uh, need to stumble on these words and terms too much um, so I'm gonna show you a few things um, and I'm going to show these things to you because I do need help there are some of you that know way better math and engineering than me and there is no point uh, at this stage to actually uh, wait any longer uh, as fast this idea goes around uh, the faster we can actually benefit from it so things are like this um, we have two discs okay uh, we have some weights that are uh, locked on um, on one disc right on the small disc in this case and they are supported by some pins on the larger disk um, okay I'm gonna start a simulation and you see what happens and well nothing happens here because they are all in balance okay the pins are set so okay let me do this I'm gonna make this invisible uh, okay, so as you can see the pins are actually uh, aligned perfectly on this uh, uh, disc on the supporting disc and nothing happens because everything is in balance but that's not to say that um, nothing happens at all if you actually do not align the pins obviously because there's only one pin this will oscillate for a while until it reaches its balance okay I won't, I won't play with this anymore um, so yeah it will go okay as you can see here um, it looks like this is probably where uh, where it will actually stop it seems like the pins are here in balance and yeah it will go like this and this and this and this if we actually use two pins um, we're gonna we're gonna get to the closer to the main idea okay let me start over okay so we go to uh, two pins okay now the weight transfer to this pin but the balance is not on the right side uh, or the imbalance or whatever uh, is not on the right side now it's on the left side but only for a short moment because we have these pins here that uh, will block the, our descending path and we have here uh, another disc this will oscillate a lot I mean all all of this all of this ones this one doesn't even start but this two will keep oscillating for about 40 seconds or so if I remember right but this one will go like double that time because on the right side on on the right pins it's in uh, in balance state and on the left side of the pins on, on the left side the pins are on the left uh, side in balance but here's the catch um, we cannot use just simple pins to make this happening what these pins actually are doing are uh, shifting the equilibrium point they are not flipping the weights they are not changing the weights from one side to the other side but all they do they are changing the point of equilibrium on the discs okay and if we actually would use um, a mechanism 
to get these pins in and out and in and out and manipulate our equilibrium point for the weights we could actually achieve a perpetual motion and why am I saying this it's a big claim for some but it's not that amazing really as you can as you will understand pretty soon it's quite easy uh, to achieve this <laughs> it's very easy in fact um, okay so okay now it will oscillate a bit now when we have like a bigger oscillation as you can see all the weight well wait a minute all the weight has shifted on these pins so now we can retract these pins with very very minimal effort I mean how hard is to actually push something that's on good bearings a little piece of metal that holds some weight um, it's quite insignificant and if we would push this uh, or pull these pins actually the wheel will start to go on the other side for quite a while um, and then we would bring the other pins around uh, the weight would transfer on them and we would pull the pins on the left side and the cycle will go on and on it's more likely it's a lot more like an oscillating system but because we're manipulating the equilibrium point we can actually um, get a lot of useful energy if you want to call it like that it's simply just movement I think anyway I won't get into debates on this matter uh, it's just words that's all it is and people got stuck on words and ideas and concepts and all sorts of stuff doesn't matter anyway there are some tricks first you can only harvest a uh, part of the cycle because you have to let uh, the disc go for a short brief of time so the weight transfers from one pin to the other pin so you can pull those pins without any effort the moment you pull the pins without the effort well the cycle rever uh, reverts you can pull energy for I don't know how many degrees depending on how well the system is calibrated and then before you need to uh, flip again uh, you let the system loose to build a bit of inertia to land on the other pins pull the pins that you are not using anymore without any effort and the cycle goes on and on and back and forth and back and forth and so on it's very simple um, it's a very simple concept perhaps not as easy to make it so that's why I'm releasing this idea because I really need some help and while I would manage to make it happen uh, at one point um, I'm afraid there is not that much time left for any of us it's a mess already um, okay I want to show you some other things because you will probably try to experiment and it's not always going according to plan okay if the simulation would actually start let me try again okay so this is a bad way to do it there are certain angles and proportions that can be used uh, I did not fine tune them yet uh, but I'm going to give this file to all of you in different formats so you can actually see what's going on here uh, it will actually be a link in uh, the description of this video on my youtube channel uh, this is another experiment that I've done with only two weights uh, my impression is that 
Well, I'm not definitely certain it might work with two if they're properly calibrated, but four might actually be the magic number to use into a system like this. Yet, I'm not yet certain of this. Um, this is another experiment that I've done. Okay, I'm showing you this thing so you are aware that there are ways to do this right and there are ways to do it wrong and hopefully we will find the right way to do this uh, this is another experiment that I've done um, the system actually builds quite a lot of inertia as you can see some weights is going to bring them uh, to level them even if they go to a certain angle uh, this one stopped uh, the one on the left as you can see it kind of raises this uh, two weights uh, but now the system reverts because it's a right side imbalance is not a left side so it will go to the left side and it will keep oscillating until it will dissipate uh, all the energy left and so on because it's just a simple oscillation we are not manipulating the equilibrium point in these uh, systems and what we have to do to actually make uh, a functional system is to manipulate the equilibrium not flip the weights although that might work for some other systems I have no idea I played a lot uh, with uh, these things trying to figure it out why some things work and others do not work uh, until I came to uh, kind of a simulation bug um, I thought it was legit but I did some tests and I talked with some people and I did more tests and it seemed that there was a collision bug but here there is no collision bug You all you have to do is use your mind and uh, see things for yourself our input energy it's uh, not what the output energy uh, not direct associated with the output there are two separate systems they kind of don't directly interact so that's a good thing because else we might cog the wheel in some way um, I recommend to use if you are actually trying to build a system like this maybe some electronic uh, el or electric mechanic um, electromechanical valves or pins or some sort like that because it will be easier to calibrate uh, a device like this can be made fully mechanical but there is a lot of calculation and designing that has to go into the project directly um, not directly before you're actually building a rig to test these ideas uh, but it's doable and it's uh, quite simple as you can see as you can do the math uh, you can do whatever it it takes uh, obviously these weights can be a lot bigger but our pins as long as the material is strong enough to resist the pressure from the weight uh, they, it will be fine and the pins don't don't have to be like really long or anything like that uh, a few centimeters at most in most cases uh, it will just simply be enough you don't have to use like really long rods uh, okay so this is the idea um, I'm gonna stop the video very shortly you can contact me on my youtube page uh, I'm also active on this forum uh, my my name is the visitor V and I'm also active on energeticforum.com. Okay, so basilarwheel.com 
and energetic forum I have the same nickname the visitor V uh, you can come and ask me questions there will be threads for this uh, subject or you can just simply uh, uh, use my youtube channel uh, oh oh and I forgot over unity.com yep uh, I will also make a thread on this forum and I will try to monitor uh, what people are asking, what your questions are and what the progress is and so on and so forth. So basically yeah. Uh, talk to you soon and I hope you like it and I definitely need all your help all <laughs> as much help as I I can get with this system so goodbye for now bye